dynamic hazard this is about dynamic hazard uh, so it is defined as the transient change occurring three or more times at an output terminal of a logic network when the output is supposed to change only once during the transition between two input states differing in the value of one variable okay that is dynamic hazard that means this here the state transition occurs three or more times when input changes input bit changes only once but transition changes three times three or more times that is dynamic hazard for that let's let us see with an example so this is actually a circuit get g1 g2 g3 g5 g4 okay um, here the inputs are x1 x2 x3 i am giving 0 0 0 then i am changing to 1 0 0 okay now assume here assume that no propagation delay through g3 and g5 this is g3 g5 no propagation delay through these two gates and g1 switch faster than g2 g1 switch faster than g2 and g2 switch faster than g4 okay so g g1 is the fastest g2 little bit slower than g1 g4 is little bit slower than g4 is slower than g2 that means propagation delay is more in g4 less in g2 very less in g1 here these two gates have no propagation delay that is the idea here these are the assumptions now i am giving something this 0 0 0 okay x1 x2 x3 0 this x1 0 x2 0 okay so x1 bar is 1 only okay x3 is 0 x1 is 0 x2 bar is 1 only let us check this is 0 0 output is 0 why why because this is uh, less it is more fast okay proportion delay is very slow here very low here so compared to this two gate this will respond very fastly why because these two have propagation delay faster uh, greater than this so this is having less propagation delay compared to these two case so it will respond very fastly okay so this is zero this is zero it will respond very fast okay zero zero output is zero only that zero came here okay now uh, this one zero this is one one into zero zero only output okay and here uh, 1 0 0 only so 0 plus 1 sorry 0 this is 0 this is 0 so 0 plus 0 output is 0 now what I will change I this is 1 0 0 0 I am changing x1 to x1 from 0 to 1 now it is 1 0 0 that means initially it was 0 0 0 that is 0 0 0 now this x1 is I am changing from 0 to 1 that is x1 now become 1 other two times are 0 only so now x1 changes to 1 so x1 bar changes to 0 ok x1 changes to 1 now changes in x2 and x3 now let us check what will happen x1 is 1 but x2 is 0 this will respond fast fast ok so this is 1 this is 0 0 plus 1 1 that is 0 changes to 1 okay that one came here now this is that one came here okay so this is this one changes to zero okay this is actually uh, one won't changes to zero immediately why because there is a propagation delay this is very fast that's why this respond very fastly and uh, this is output is one but in the uh, this is one but at that time this is not changing why because a propagation delay is there this is fast that's why it is getting output to one but this is little bit slower than this gate so this gate is slow why because propagation delay is there so it's slow output input transition occurs that corresponding transition should reflect at the output but due to propagation delay that is not reflected at the output so one is there but actually it was zero but that zero won't reflect here why because due to the propagation delay so one is there 1 into 1 output is 1 and get output is 1 here it is 0 only why because this 0 1 transition is not there why because it is not responding why, why because propagation delay so 0 only that 0 came here this one 0 plus 1 1 
so that's why one here that's why one here now now after a time this try to st this start responding why because after a propagation delay this start responding but this is not responding why? because this propagation delay of this gate is this gate is far larger than this gate so first it will respond after that only it will respond so now one changes to zero this transition occurs at the output zero this is zero this is zero zero plus zero zero initially it was one now it is zero so here it is one okay one into zero zero output changes to zero here still at that time also it is zero only zero plus zero output is zero so that's why again zero from one to zero it is changing now the last gate is starts to respond why because this proportion delay over this conduct after the proportion delay this conduct now this turn this gate have turn it's turn now zero changes to one so one into one output is one here it is actually zero so zero plus one again one that means zero changes to one see how much transition first is zero to one then one to zero again zero to one three transitions are occur now initially it was zero initially it was zero now it is after a time delay it is changes to one it is changing to one then one to zero then one to zero again zero to one zero to one one to zero zero to one three transitions are there so definitely this kind of uh, hazard is called a dynamic hazard that means more than three or more than three transition occurs for a single bit change see here only a single bit change is there but transition is there more than three times or three times so that is dynamic hazard